Hello there, so this is part, I think, eight, and uh, we're going to be uh, UV unwrapping this um, shaver. And uh, yeah, so the first thing we should do is uh, go to shading mode, uh, we'll then add a new material, and uh, add a UV uh, image texture so that we can see any stretching that could be on our, on our model. So let's add a new material here. I'll call this, I won't, I won't name it, just, uh, let me make sure this is recording. Uh, let's add um, a texture, image texture, and then create a new image. Uh, instead of uh, blank here, let's use UV grid. Uh, this will let us see where the stretching is. You can see we have a lot of stretching here, uh, there, there. Uh, so let's first isolate this. And uh, to make this simple, we can turn off all the modifiers for now and start UV unwrapping. You can go to UV edit and uh, also turn, in, turn on uh, textures here. And uh, let's go to edit mode. Uh, this is how the UV looks right now. Um, let's also first uh, turn off these uh, bevel weights. Uh, to do that, just go under overlays, and uh, down here you'll see the bevel option. Turn, uh, turn that off, and uh, so that it doesn't get in the way. So we can start by separating the different uh, materials as we see them in the reference image. So if we go to, if we go to um, UV image editor, and bring up any of the reference images. Let's use this. You can start marking seams by marking the different areas uh, by looking at uh, the different materials. So we can see this is a different material, so we can mark a seam inside there. Uh, we just make sure to hide your seams inside uh, those creases so that they don't... Uh, on, on this type of model, they won't... Uh, the seams won't even uh, matter that much, but uh, it's a good habit to hide your seams. So I can also add another one here, and just to follow this, uh, Control E, Max Seam. And let's see, now if we unwrap this, you can see everything is separated, and you can see we have, uh, there, there is no stretching. I think we can also separate this here. Can use that inside loop there and mark it as a seam. Unwrap. And I see that's what we have. Now let's see what else, what else. Now we can come back in and uh, turn on the bevel and all the other uh, so we're going to we need to apply the mirror modifier and now again unwrap again uh, I think this is good but uh, should we should we do this I'm thinking of adding a seam somewhere here but uh, I think this is okay I don't really have to Maybe we can straighten these. Mm, can just rotate this this island here, and make sure it is straight. Make sure I turn off these so that it's not as slow. I think we are good to go for this. Let's, uh, I don't think we need these anymore, so we can remove those. Uh, come in here, I will isolate this one here. Uh, let's see, do we have a mirror modifier? We don't have a mirror modifier. Uh, make sure it also has the same material, so I think it's this. Uh, you can start by unwrapping it, just to see the texture is there so uh, we can also start marking seams let's first turn off uh, this 
uh, subdivision and uh, mark a seam there for all, all of the circles. Control E, mark seam. Now, if we unwrap, you can see we have minimized the stretching inside these squares, but uh, we still have a lot of stretching here. So we can also, I think, add a seam around here. Control E, mark seam. I think that's good enough. There's not a lot of stretching, so let's see, that's what we have. Now let's work on this. Uh, this should be easy since they're just uh, round things. And unwrap. And uh, we can now apply the same material for them. So that's what we have. Uh, this here, we just need to add one seam and then unwrap, then give it the material. Yeah, so in the next session, we'll look at uh, uh, adding the materials and uh, then we'll look at uh, adding these details here using buff maps and then uh, these words here. And uh, yeah, thank you.